In Russia, the former deputy commander for logistics of the 144th Motorized Rifle Division of the 20th Combined Arms Army of the Moscow Military District, Colonel Dmitry Peskov was arrested. He was accused of stealing food rations, although the soldier himself did not admit his guilt. ISW analysts are convinced that this incident is part of a targeted effort by the Kremlin to eliminate high-ranking officials from the Ministry of Defense. According to experts, this may, in fact, be a punishment for commanders for the failures of their units or to keep loyal and obedient officers in the ranks of the occupation army. It is noted that units of the 144th Motorized Rifle Division are conducting offensive operations in the area of the settlements of Terny and Nevskoy in the Luhansk region with limited success. At the same time, they recently lost some territory due to limited counter-attacks by the armed forces of Ukraine in this area. As is known, after the resignation of Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, high-profile arrests of high-ranking military personnel took place in Russia. In particular, the former deputy head of the Ministry of Defense, Timur Ivanov, the head of the main personnel department of the Ministry of Defense, Yuri Kuznetsov, the head of the main communications department of the Ministry of Defense, Vadim Shamarin, and the former commander of the 58th Army, Ivan Popov, were detained. Recently, former Deputy Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation, Dmitry Bulgakov, was arrested in a corruption case. The Russian Investigative Committee stated that the General Dmitry Bulgakov had been taken into custody. A criminal case of a corruption nature is being investigated within the framework of which Dmitry Bulgakov, who held the post of Deputy Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation from 2008 to 2022, has been chosen as a preventive measure in the form of detention. The necessary investigative actions are being carried out with the defendant, the statement said. Recently, a drone operator from the 3rd Assault Brigade in the Kharkov direction spotted a target that at first glance appeared to be a Russian TOS-1 thermobaric missile launcher. However, as Forbes writes, after it was destroyed by a UAV strike, it turned out that it was not a TOS-1, but something much stranger and rarer. According to the 3rd Assault, this was a new type of missile vehicle combining the hull of an old T-72B tank from the 1970s and an equally old RBU-6000 launcher from sea-based anti-submarine missiles, a Frankenstein of a Russian tractor and the sea-based missile launcher. As Forbes noted, the latest improvised Frankenstein machine is further evidence of a growing problem for Russians. The Russian army entered the war in Ukraine with about 50 TOS ones and lost half of them. The shortage of TOS ones explains why Russia is apparently importing North Korean missile vehicles and also why it is bolting naval missile launchers onto abandoned T-72Bs, thousands of which are sitting in warehouses across Russia, the publication writes. As the publication notes, these missile launchers, although originally intended to sink submarines, are still not a bad weapon for conducting ground combat operations despite their inaccuracy. The problem, however, is the firing range. It is half that of the TOS-1, and the closer the launcher is to the front line, the greater the risk it is exposed to from the enemy. The fact that the Ukrainians disabled half of the Russian TOS-1s underscores this danger. It is no coincidence that since the ground-based RBU-6000s first appeared in Ukraine about a year ago, the Russians have been steadily increasing their armament, installing them, first on thinly protected MT-LB tractors and trucks, and then on old T-80 tank hulls, and finally on at least one T-72B, Forbes writes. And while the T-72B's hull is more heavily protected than, say, a Ural truck, Forbes notes that an RBU-6000 is an RBU-6000, no matter what engineers attach to it. That's 12 fragile missiles, each of which is almost certain to burn up if hit by explosives, artillery shrapnel, or even a few machine gun shells. The Russians have created another Frankenstein's monster for use on the front in Ukraine. This time, they crossed the carriage of the 82mm 2B9 Vasilek automatic mortar with the 73mm 2A28 Grom gun from the MPB-1. 
And this spring, the Russians began using turtle tanks on the front lines. Tanks crudely covered with sheet metal and even wood to protect against Ukrainian drones. This technology has shown limited effectiveness, but experts consider it an unsuccessful rather than a successful experiment.